Hi everyone, my name is Prarthana Bhattacharya and today I'm going to be introducing SA Depth 3D, self-attention based context aware 3D object detection. Uh, so this is the outline of our talk today and to motivate the problem, we noticed that CNN-like feature extractors for current 3D object detectors actually have several limitations, including the fact that the number of parameters scale very poorly with increase in receptive field size and that learned filters are stationary across all locations. We also noticed that global correlation awareness can produce more powerful features. So this can help if there's missing or noisy point cloud data, if there's large imbalance in points between nearby and far objects, etc. And non-local neural networks have also been used for 2D vision and have been quite effective. So for our contribution, we explicitly augment convolutional features with pairwise self-attention features. Since this pairwise computation is quadratic, we propose to use a deformable self-attention variant to be able to scale this global context aggregation to large intense point clouds. And we also outperform strong baseline models on Kitty new scenes and way more object detection data sets. Uh, so this table presents a comparison of our method with recent attention-based models for point clouds. Uh, while there are some models which have been proposed which are global static or local adaptive, our method is global adaptive. What distinguishes us from other methods which are also global adaptive is that while they sample points, subsets and refine or attend sequentially to small regions, we use learned deformations to attend to salient regions. Uh, so we asked the question, can attention actually improve 3D object detection performance? And we find that we can detect objects which are missed by the baseline. So this is point pillar, second point RCN and PVRCNN. So these are some detections which have been missed by the baseline, but we managed to detect them using um, self-attention augmented globally aware features and we can also eliminate false positives. Now we talk about the formulation, formulation of the problem. So essentially we have our point cloud which can be represented using pillars, voxel or point features. We propose to represent them as nodes in a graph and then we can exploit self-attention to compute the pairwise similarities between feature nodes. So for this feature node, for example, we can um, find the pairwise similarities with all other nodes and then normalize them to compactly represent the global structural information for this particular feature node. These are some architectures. So this is our proposed self-attention module and we insert it into the backbone of here point pillars, second, point RCNN and PVRCNN. This is the full self-attention module that we use. This is the module which was proposed by Vaswani et al. And we use this to compute the context aggregated feature for every node, which represents a pillar or a voxel or a point. Now, what are the pros and cons of this full self-attention module? So the advantage is that the resolution at which the context is gathered is independent of the number of parameters. So we can replace a fraction of the parameter heavy convolutions with this full self-attention module. The disadvantage, however, is that this pairwise similarity is quadratic in complexity and this cannot scale to more dense point clouds. Hence, we propose the deformable self-attention module, which can compute self-attention context over a small number, so M, which is much, much smaller than N, of key points. So the computation is OMND and not quadratic. We sample the key points differentially to cover representative locations. So we sample them differentially so that they can cover these representative locations. And this is inspired by the idea of deformable convolutions. So the advantage of course, is that now we can scalably aggregate global context for pillar voxel points with OMND computation complexity. So it's not quadratic anymore. And we can also cover representative regions of the point cloud, improving the feature descriptors. We present our experimental results. 
So this is an experiment for the KJ validation where we have three DAP, BVAP parameters and flops across point pillars, second point RCN and BVRCN and for baseline DSA and FSA. And we find that FSA and DSA consistently improves performance uh, across all backbones while leading to a much uh, parameter and computation efficient uh, backbone. So we also uh, show consistent gains in parameter and computation budget across backbones. So this is the number of parameters, number of flops. This blue is the baseline and these are our proposed modules. And we see a huge gain in parameter and computation budget across different backbones as well. We also add noise uniformly to each pounding box. And we find that this gray line is the baseline and this is the uh, performance that we find for second and point RCNN. And we find that when number of noise points varies from zero to 100, self-attention augmented models are more robust to noise than the baselines. Uh, we talk about the attention and the difficulty of detection. So we sort the number of cars based on the number of points in them in increasing order. So less than 55, 55 to 242, greater than 242, cross point pillars in PVRCNN. And we find that context and self-attention seems to be more important for detecting difficult cases. So in which there's the smallest number of points across point pillars and PVRCNN, we find the greatest increase in relative AP with respect to baseline, which indicates that context seems to help more for difficult cases. We also choose some uh, low confidence detections. For example, this. And we place it in different scenes. So this is also a low confidence detection for PVRCNN. And we place them in different scenes. We find that here, for example, this is missed, but we pick it up with FSA. And for PVRCNN, it's missed for the baseline, but with our FSA module, we can pick it up pretty robustly. So these are our conclusions. Uh, we propose FSA and DSA. FSA consistently outperforms strong 3D baselines across different backbones, improves parameter efficiency by 15 to 80%, and improves flops efficiency by 25 to 50%. The scalable variant, which is the DSA, reduces quadratic computation complexity of the FSA, exploits deformations to spatially sample key points for relation modeling. They are more robust and they have strong performance on 3D object detection benchmarks. And that's all for this presentation. Thank you very much.